As with the other Final Fantasy so far, this one has the four crystals in it as well. I think all other, all five so far have had crystals in it. This one goes about it in a different manner. Um, there is certain elements that you see in three and five. There's different things. So let's get talking about it. So th this actually took me the longest of all of them to beat, which is why this review or not, not really review, just my thoughts on Final Fantasy V uh, it's t taking so long. So I started this game in October of last year, and then I played it until December 17th. I got myself to the final boss. That final boss is one of the hardest bosses I've ever faced in my entire life. So two things before we really get into this that I would 100% recommend, if you've never played this before, get Mighty Guard and get Golem. I did not do either one of those. So that final boss was ridiculous. It took me a very long time to beat. It is now April 1st. I beat it last night. I played it till December 17th. And then I resumed again because I had got myself to the boss. I resumed again a couple of days. I finally beat it. Normally, a boss that just owning me like that, I won't do. But I figured I had beaten... Actually, I've beaten all six at this point. So I figured... Got to do it. I did take a couple of notes here. So, because it's it's been a while. There is a difference to this one. And basically, there's these meteors that come down. And the kings and the rulers of the lands are using the crystals too much. So, they're overworking these crystals. And they're shattering. And the, the shatters of these crystals are... You are basically essences and you absorb them when you when you see them after, you know, you, you got to go through different trials and, uh, and, and tribulations and whatnot to get these uh, crystal shards. And then you get what's known now is jobs, right? So you get these different jobs. That is the one part of this game that I'm actually not the biggest fan of. I know a lot of Final Fantasy people or just Square Enix, and I, I know the jobs are in different, you know, uh, other companies use these jobs. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I, I feel like in the Bravely Default, I think they were used the best in Bravely Default of all Square uh, uh, Square Enix games. But a little more about the the story. So your 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 main character is named Bart, and he is kind of uh, kind of a loner. He's trying to figure out what's going on with everything, and he comes across Lena, who is, a, a, if I remember correctly, she is a princess. And the two of you kind of set off and try to figure out what's going on with these meteors hitting hitting the you know whatever the the world that you live in, and they, they hit it, and it's causing so much issues and they feel like they're being under attack. But then you come across the first meteor and it's kind of blocking your way, but you want to get somewhere else. But, but because of a crystal being shattered, you can't actually do that. So then you come across this other person, Ferris, who turns out to be Lena's, you know, relative. They, they don't really know how at this point, but they had the same pendant. And that's how this story kind of progresses. Now, as far as the combat, I actually thought the combat was relatively easy until you get to that final boss. That final boss is insane. Now, some of the bosses in this game definitely were, were challenging. And I would 100% recommend if you're playing this on the Pixel Remaster. Now, in my case, I did do the four-time money and the four-time uh, experience points. So I, I'm glad that I did that. But I would definitely leave random encounters on because if you are low level especially towards the end of this game it is going to be a rough 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 go at it there's a couple of jobs that i would really uh recommend leveling up like the mystic knight the ninja the samurai some people i know really used the the one that sings i think that's the bard i actually didn't use that with any of mine i would definitely recommend uh find find uh, the the meme the, or the mimic uh towards the end there that really helped me out quite a bit how did i feel about this game though it the story is somewhat generic but it is a lot better than three one one and four, I know so far that I've talked about are, has definitely been my favorite story. As far as the magic system in this, 
it's pretty good, actually. I really like the magic system in this. The one that, uh, if you're watching this still to this point, the one that I really wish I would utilize more is the Blue Mage. So if you're going into this for the first time, I would definitely utilize the, the Blue Mage quite a bit. I know that can help you quite a bit in the end game, and that is definitely something that you want to do. Now, I do like... The fact that once you have the skills within like a white mage or a time mage or a blue mage, everybody has access to those skills, right? So you, you just have to get to that level and then you can use those skills. I do like that. And if I'm remembering that wrong, uh, please forgive me. But that is that is my memory of that because I haven't played it in, in some months uh, fully. I just happened to beat it yesterday. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the characters in this game. I do like how the characters kind of come in and out of this game. You don't have a lot. I like uh, one thing that I cannot stand is when you have like 12 different characters or like Chrono, what is it? Chrono Cross. There's something like 33 characters that you can pull from. I don't like that at all. I really like the way they did the characters in this game a lot. I like that you just have the four that you're using. I like that they can level up their jobs. I like I like that a lot. I you know like I, like I'm not the biggest fan of the job system, but I am a really big fan of limiting the amount of characters that you have because how do you know what character you're going to need at the end game? I really like the way they did that. I like the way the skills are you utilized by all characters characters who have that whatever that job is and are at the level to use those skills i like the fact that you kind of all pull from the same weapons i i just i really like that that is definitely a win in my book it is a really good game it really is a good game i kind of see why they didn't bring it over to america because of that final boss like everybody you know like in japan they think that, that we suck at gaming and that that final boss and i'm sure there's other things like localization wasn't that great or whatever it is whatever the reason is that they didn't bring it over here but yes that game is definitely thumbs up in my book the story like i said isn't the strongest but there is some um at least in the, the Pixel Remaster, and I imagine all, all versions of this, there is some like backshadowing or foreshadowing or whatever that really kind of tells a story. There is a story there. There really is. But it's definitely not... Actually, for whatever reason, the first one, this story is really well told to me uh, so far. Two, I liked it, but, you know, whatever. So so anyway, this, the story is is there right? The story is there. It's definitely enjoyable. The, the gameplay though is, uh, is the, the, uh, the winning part of this whole thing, especially if you utilize it correctly. So definitely at the end of this, this is going to be the end of the review, uh, the, whatever this is. The blue mage, I would definitely, I would definitely utilize that. And then uh, the other, other ones if from, from the final, fi final boss's perspective, the the ranger or the yeah the ranger the the one with the arrow the blue mage the ninja the samurai the mystic knight the white mage are definitely the ones that I would focus on if I were if I were to play this again those would definitely be the ones if I started over because I got the clear data if I started over. Those are the ones that I would focus on. And then once you get the one that can mimic the other things, then you don't need to master that one to have it. You know, the, I, I really didn't even notice any difference when that thing was mastered. Maybe there is a difference and somebody's going to, you know, say that there is. But that game is definitely worth a playthrough, 100%. So where does it st stack in the fi five that i've played so far i don't know i am going to do a final of like which one of my favorites but this one is definitely well well worth playing i i liked it better than three for sure and i i think i like it better than two so, but one is definitely one and four are definitely sitting at the top tier uh so far so far so anyway, I would definitely play it, especially you got the Pixel Remaster. I know the Play Asia version of it uh, is physical. I, I'm assuming you st still can get that at, at, at this point, but definitely check it out. Any comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.